Hi, welcome to my studio. My name's Chris. This channel is all about tools, tips, and tutorials for growing in watercolor. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that I absolutely love Princeton brand watercolor brushes, and I have a bunch of them. In particular, I've reviewed both the Neptune and Aqua Elite series of brushes. But I've had a lot of my subscribers ask, which do you like the best? Which one should I buy, Aqua Elite or Neptune? In this video, I'm going to answer that question. And at the end of the video, I'm going to recommend three brushes. If you could only buy three brushes, which ones should you buy as a beginning watercolor artist? Let's get started. First, let's talk about the two series of brushes, Aqua Elite and Neptune. Let's talk about the features and benefits of each of these two different types of watercolor brushes. In the Aqua Elite series, I own a number 20 round, a number 16 round, a number 12 round, a number eight long round, and a number one liner brush. These brushes are 100% synthetic and are made to mimic Kalinsky Sable. Kalinsky Sable is considered by many to be the very best kind of brush there is and the premier type of bristle for watercolor. However, a typical Kalinsky brush can cost hundreds of dollars. I don't have any. These brushes keep a very fine point and they're designed with a tapered edge. They are fairly stiff and they have a good snap to them. That means when you bend them, they snap back into shape. The Aqua Elites hold color really well and they release the water and the paint very evenly, giving you great results. They don't hold as much water as the Princeton Neptunes, but we'll get to those in a bit. Another thing I like about these Aqua Elites is they feature a nice soft touch handle. They feel great in your hand. They are definitely a high quality, well-constructed brush. The Aqua Elites also come in a wide variety of shapes, including rounds, long rounds, mottlers, angle shaders, riggers, and a bunch more. On the Princeton website, the Aqua Elites are rated as their quote unquote best series. So there you go, maybe that settles the question, the Aqua Elites are the best. But hold on, not too fast. Let's take a look at the Neptunes. I have even more Princeton Neptunes than I have Aqua Elites. The Princeton Neptune watercolor brushes are also 100% synthetic, but they are designed to mimic squirrel hair. I own two Princeton Neptune quill brushes, a number four and a number six. I absolutely love these brushes. I use them all the time. And I own these Neptune round brushes. I own a number 14 round, 12 round, six round, a number four round, and a number one script liner brush. Like natural squirrel brushes, these Neptune brushes are super soft, featuring very fine black bristles. They hold tons of water. In fact, on their website, Princeton calls these Neptune brushes their quote unquote thirstiest brushes. They definitely hold more water than the Aqua Elites. However, because the bristles are so soft and fine, the brushes don't keep their shape like the Aqua Elites. They tend to kind of flop over when they're filled with water, especially the quill brushes, and they don't have any snap. And as a result, some people have a really hard time knowing how to use the Neptune brushes. If you take a look at the Princeton website, they say the Neptune brushes are, quote unquote, their best series. Hold it. How can they both be best? The simple answer to which is best is, it depends. And as to which brush you should buy, I'm gonna suggest that you should actually buy both. That's right, I think it's really important that you have both a soft squirrel hair type of brush and a stiffer sable hair like brush in your watercolor supplies. When I paint in watercolor, I always start with a large soft brush like the Princeton Neptune. I like using a squirrel or a synthetic squirrel brush that holds tons of water and paint. This allows me to make big fluid washes and cover my paper quickly. I typically use my Princeton Neptune number no. six quill for this stage of the painting. Then as I move through the painting process, I progress from large washes to smaller details. That's when I move to my Aqua Elite brushes. 
These stiffer, finely pointed brushes provide greater control and precision when it's needed. It's important to remember that the technique dictates the brush that you use. So there you have it. Both of these types of brushes really are the best. As for price, these two series of brushes are comparable. For comparison's sake, the Aqua Elite round number 12 is around $15 US on Amazon, and the Neptune round number 12 is about $12 US also on Amazon. Of course, those prices might fluctuate and vary by location. If you'd like to learn more about the Princeton brushes that I use in my studio, there will be links in the description below. If you purchase these brushes or any other supplies using the links below, I earn a very small commission on the sales, but you don't pay one penny more. This is a great way to support this channel and my content creation, and I really appreciate it. Finally, as I promised at the beginning of the video, I'd like to recommend three brushes. If you only had enough money to buy three brushes as a beginning watercolor painter, what would I recommend you buy? From my collection and the brushes that I use the most, the ones I could recommend are this Princeton Quill number no. six. It's a really big, thirsty, squirrel-like brush. It holds a lot of water. It's great for big washes. You need a brush like this in your collection so you can do big washes. Next, I would recommend a Princeton Aqua Elite 12 round. This is a good medium size round brush. It would be great for a lot of the painting that you would do as a beginning watercolor artist. And finally, number three, I would recommend this number eight long round Princeton Aqua Elite. This is a really uh, fine pointed brush and it would be really great for fine details. And it also could be used almost like a rigger brush or a liner because it has such a fine point. Highly recommend that one as well. The links to these brushes will be in the description below. Whatever brushes you buy, I just highly recommend that you always buy good quality brushes. A good quality brush will last a lot longer and will perform better and is really important to invest in these types of brushes when you're getting started. Hey, if you found this video to be helpful, consider subscribing to my channel. I put out new videos like this about once a week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.